guys, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I decided today I would just kind of continue on with these hauls for like makeup since I know it's around that season, the holiday season when we're all out shopping for others and for ourselves. So I wanted to share with you guys the Wet n Wild collection for the holidays. I know this has been out for a while, but I've had this stuff for a while also and I just haven't been able to get around to make a video for it so I decided today's the day. I have the whole collection I think it's called the sequins and stardust it sounds right to me um, collection for the holidays so I got everything from the collection I did end up getting some of the highlighters from the website when they were there and I think they're constantly trying to get that restocked so definitely keep a lookout on the website you can definitely pick up everything on their website if not you can find it at drugstores so far I've only seen it at Rite Aids and I have even seen it at every Rite Aid so they might still be coming out you might still be able to find these pieces these pieces, these products at the drugstore. And it is including the coveted highlighter because I know everyone goes crazy over their highlighters once they come out. So I'm going to share with you guys the full collection and my thoughts on the collection. I'll also show you guys some other Wet n Wild products that I've picked up. And I'm going to try to do my best to show you guys some comparison swatches of the new highlighters compared to new highlighter compared to older highlighters from Wet n Wild. So let's just get into this. We all know Wet n Wild is definitely becoming one of the best brands at the drugstore and it's still super duper affordable it's so affordable and I know a lot of their products are really hit and miss so I'm going to start with the products um, from the collection that I was least excited about and I really only got for this video and to show you guys um, but so they did have the two pairs of lashes that they came out with in the collection so there's one that is called the disco baller status and that's the one that's a little bit more spiky. I'll show a close-up of everything so you can see it. But So this is the spiky one. They do have a little bit of like rhinestone decorations on the edges. And then this is the, that's the way I light it um, pair. So this is just a more full looking set of lashes. And then there's like a strip of glitter along them. So that's what both of these look like. Again, I'm not really too into their eyelashes their faux lashes I just think they could still kind of improve on their lashes it just seems like every collection that Wet n Wild comes out with the lashes just really aren't that great so but I did get these I think they're cute um, they're nice for someone who wants to have something interesting and decorative or maybe for like some type of costume type makeup or even if you layer these on top of a different pair of lashes they might be kind of cool but I think these were maybe like three dollars I don't remember the exact prices of everything but they are so affordable the prices are like less than top <laughs> Less than $10 a piece for each product, which is crazy. Got the nail polishes. At first, I wasn't going to get them. And then I saw pictures of someone wearing the colors. And I was just like, oh my gosh, those are really pretty. So I ended up getting all of them. So I have all of the colors of the nail polishes. So there's like a brownish, like gold color. And this one is Ninja Love Lace. So it just looks like this. And I've always heard good things about their nail polishes. It's actually pretty good quality nail polishes. I think these are like 3 or $4 a piece, if that. And there's this one. It's like a clear, it's like a metallic-y color lavender shift color um, so it looks kind of lavender and blue and yellow at the same time with these sparkles in it and then this is in the color are you free to dance <laughs> is the name of this color and then there's the gold shimmery color and this is called studio glitter and gold is the gold color and then there's this really pretty blue with like gold glitter is mixed in there and this is called I dream of jean genie so got all four colors of the nail polishes super excited I actually haven't tried these out yet but I meant to put some on today and I didn't I really like their nail polishes though because they have such a like wide oh my god this one won't even open it's like so new okay fail man can these open Okay, these ones just have like a really wide brush on them so they cover like your whole nail in like one swipe which is really nice. For the lip glosses, I'm always super excited for their lip products whenever they come out with new um, collections. So I did get all of the lip glosses again, I guess I can stop saying that. I got everything from the collection. Um, but I always get backups too of their lip products when they come out with like the limited edition stuff because they're usually pretty good. Um, but so I got all of them. The first one is kind of like a peachy orange, but also has a little bit of like a pink tint in there. Everything obviously has sparkles in them. So if you don't like sparkles, you might not like these too much. So this orange one is the color, the Loco Potion. And then there's this gold one that is Ring My Bell Bottoms. And then there's a more 
Actually, this is like a yellow gold, and this is more like a wannabe gold gold. And this is in the color Moxie Brown. And then there's the white. And this is in Boogie White Lights. So got these, and I love the packaging of them too. And I forgot to mention, Wet n Wild has only cruelty-free products. They're completely cruelty-free. So if that's important to you, Wet n Wild is a great option for you too. And I don't remember again how much the lip glosses were, but I think they were like 3 or $4 a piece. I got this whole collection actually from a Rite Aid one time when I had the plenty points. I didn't pay for like anything. I think I paid like $4 because I had so much plenty reward points saved up. Yeah, I love the packaging on here. So it's clear you can see the colors perfectly through them. And then they even have a little bit of like a shimmery type decoration along the cap. I like the doe foot on them. It's got like kind of a larger doe foot, but it gets enough product. I think I only have to dip back in once, if at all, to cover my lips. Moving on into the loose pigments. I don't know why I didn't swatch these, but I didn't swatch these. So <laughs> I have all of the pigments. So there's like, they kind of look really, really similar when you first look at them. There's like a really light, almost white, yellow, gold color. This is in Kung Fu Lightning, so it looks like this one. And so see, you might not be able to see it from me holding it up here, but definitely from the closer shots, they all look so similar. But so see, if you can kind of tell from right here, me holding it up, they all look like borderline the same exact color. This is just a little bit darker of like a yellow gold color. This is Dom and Cherry on top. And then there's more of like the actual gold. Oh, but it says copper. It's called Ride My Copper. I guess I can see that now, copper color. There's this one that's heart of my rose gold. This definitely looks like a pinky gold um, in there. And so I know everyone was going crazy over these because not only because it was a loose pigment from the drugstore and it's actually a pretty good one, but it does have a sifter. So it doesn't just fall out when you open it up. You have to like lift up this little latch and then it opens up so that you have the little holes and then you can pour it out into the cap if you want. So not that much comes out though from the sifter. There's literally four, five holes. For the sifter. Is that which one is this? Heart of my rose gold. Am I gonna regret putting this on me right now? Ooh! And see, I don't know why I didn't do swatches, but you probably can't see that. It looks so nice. These are so incredibly pigmented, it's like ridiculous. And I will say too, I'm just gonna say it now before I forget, even if you can't find the highlighter on the displays, I definitely suggest getting the loose pigments because you can pour this out in the lid and use this as a highlighter and then you've got all of this for a highlighter too. Or if you want to do it like into a pressed um, powder, I've got a lot of extra like backups of these loose pigments because I wanted to add like um, rubbing alcohol to them and see if I could make them into a pressed like a powder. Um, so not like a loose pigment but more of like an actual powder. That's maybe something I suggest doing if you can't necessarily get your hands on the actual highlighter. Just get these. You can use them as highlighters as well. Just pour them out and use them as a highlighter. You know? For the last thing from this collection, I know the one main thing that everyone was crazy about was the Mega Glow Highlighting Bar. And it does suck that there was only two on the display. I only saw the display in like three Rite Aids, but that was a while ago. And every time I would go and see the displays, Everything was on the display except the two highlighting bars. Like really, why are there only two? It looks like this. It's in the color Holly Goldhead. I do not know why, but it just looks like this. It does look very similar to the, I think it's Charlotte Tilbury's gold bar. It's got the gold part and then it's got like a rose gold star in there. And supposedly it has a mirror that's on the side of this, but I still cannot get this mirror out to save my life. I don't know why it's there. Ow. I think it's similar to the other one that they already came out with, but we're about to find out because we're going to do side-by-side -side swatches of them. Before we get into comparison swatches, though, I want to share with you guys some other products from Wet n Wild that I decided to pick up recently. So I showed these in a vlog kind of the other day, but I did get all of their liquid lipsticks that they came out with for their fall collection. I love the packaging of these. I think they actually look exactly like Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. All four colors of them. I haven't tried them out yet, but they were super inexpensive, and now that they're kind of older, you can definitely probably find these on sale, or at least on sale when like the Wet n Wild stuff is on rotation to be on sale. So I got all of them, and I figured they were maybe like $6.00. These are nice to take out with me if I'm going out, like, partying and stuff, and if I lose them, then I'm not really going to care that much, you know? So that's really why I got these. I've got the two darker colors that look, when I look at them in real life, they look super similar, but when I hold them up in the light and I'm looking in the camera, they look different. But so, this lighter shade 
is in the color Don't Be a Plum Plum. So it looks like that. And these have really nice, they feel like they don't close all the way though, which is kind of weird. Um, but I really like the applicators on these actually. It's got like a weird kind of like dip in it, but it like hugs your lips so nicely. And this isn't what I have on my lips now. And it's called their Color Icon Matte Liquid Lipstick. So there's that one. The deeper one that looks more brown is in the color Take It Like a Vamp. And then their lighter shades, they have this red that is How Fleek Is Your Love. And then this more fuchsia color is Too Tulip to Quit. So I got these. Again, you can probably find these on sale if you can find them at all, but I think these are pretty nice. Like I said, I haven't really tested them out too much, but for the price, I'm all for it. And then I finally got my hands on both of these eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild. These I actually had to get from Walmart, and I got them at different times because I could never really find the other one. This is the one I just got. <laughs> so I got both. This one is in the color Nude Awakening, and then this is in Bare Necessities. They're definitely a little bit different color-wise. If Maybe you can kind of see the differences in there. So definitely there's like a silver in this one, where in this one there's not even a gray. Both of them have a black, but this is more of a matte black. And then in the Bare Necessities, there's like a shimmery black. So they do differ a little bit color-wise. I heard good things about these two. Again, super affordable. I think these were maybe like $10, and I don't know if you can get them from the drugstore or if you have to just get them from Walmart. I think they're only at Walmart. And these are really nice. Like, also, oh, they just feel so soft. That one's all right, but it feels really, really nice. Let's try this one. Who is chalky? They're all right. I think they're nice for stuff to, like, travel with, you know, which I like to get. I like to get inexpensive makeup palettes to travel with. I can't see myself, even though I never really buy expensive palettes, I could never spend $50 on a palette and travel with it because I'd be so scared that it was gonna break. But so if you get affordable ones, you don't have to worry about it. All right, and so since we're going to do comparison swatches of the other highlighters, or at least some of the other highlighters, I wanna mention these new ones that I did recently get. So these are these larger Wet n Wild highlighters. This is in the color Boozy Brunch and I'll Have a Cosmo. I think this one, the Boozy Brunch one, is actually the one that was the Fergie collection and it was repackaged because it looks the exact same. I never got the Fergie one, but I did get this one. Boozy Brunch is more of like a yellow. It's got yellow, pink, and like a brown. It comes out as like a goldish color. So there's that one. And then this is more of like a pinky highlight. So it's just like straight pinks. There was a third color, but it's like a really deep color from what it looks like. It looks more of like a bronzer color, but I just didn't bother to try it. These are a little bit more pricey um, compared to some of the other stuff that they have in their collection. I did pick these up from a CVS, and I found that not too many stores, like I can't walk into just any drugstore and find these. It's like not everyone has them for some reason. Um, but I got these from CVS. I think they were like... I want to say like eight dollars and then obviously I had to bring back since we're going to do comparisons these old ones from the spring collection spring or summer collection these are the mega glow highlighting powders I do have it in the crown of my canopy and also in the precious metals which is precious petals which is the one that everyone was going crazy over saying it was like amazing and yes they are amazing I actually think the crown of my canopy is actually a better color for my skin tone. I'm really happy though that I have both, but I do like kind of my canopy a little bit better just for me personally, because this one's a little bit lighter. Okay, right, so I'm just gonna be super zoomed in for this, and this is gonna be like the worst <laughs> swatch comparison ever. But so we're gonna start with the gold highlighting bar, I guess. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Cool, I've got five fingers. <laughs> okay, so here is this one. This is the Holly Gold Head from the new collection. So I guess we'll just put this one right here. So there is that one. So that's numero uno. So I'll compare it first to, I guess, Precious Petals. And these are all obviously going to be Wet n Wild ones. So they're so far on my fingers is what they look like together. They look pretty similar, actually. So this is Precious Petals. And so we'll put this one right next to it, if I can. But definitely right off the bat, it definitely, Precious Petals looks a little bit more pink, while the gold bar definitely looks more gold. That hopefully I'm staying like in focus for this. This is gonna suck. So now crown of my canopy. And again, on my fingers is what it looks like. We'll do this one next to it. It's more like, actually this one looks more gold. This one looks more white gold, and this one looks more pinkish peach gold. If it's maybe picking up, hopefully it's in focus, you know? So then this is going to be the I'll Have a Cosmo, so this is a pretty pink one. 
Oh man. Oh, why does it look like it's cracking? That's no good. There on my finger is definitely pink compared to the other ones. So just put this one right here. This one looks a lot lighter. Like it doesn't look like it's as opaque, like as pigmented as the other one when I swatch it, but definitely pink. All right, and then we're gonna go into the boozy brunch. And I guess I'm just gonna do this with my thumb because that's the only finger I've got left. So there's all of them on my fingers. And so we'll just put this on in the only space I've got left. Is what this one looks like compared. Actually, it looks pretty close to the gold bar. Again, this is the boozy brunch. Let me put it next to it on the other side. Just gonna get a little bit more. Oh, go. So this is the original one. This is the gold highlighting gold bar. This first one. So I'm just gonna put this one next to it, I guess. It's probably a really bad swatch, just because I'm terrible. But from a glance, it definitely looks like this new one is a really more pigmented version of boozy brunch. Um, also, it's definitely a lot more gold, like strictly gold. So if we care what the star swatch is like, so I'll do this up top. So that's from the inside of the star. Ooh, look at all that highlighter. I want to mention what's on my lips. I should have just used one of those liquid lipsticks, but they were over here. I just didn't think about it. They were already like ready to be filmed. I don't know. But on my lips before I forget, since I know some people like to know, because I always wonder what people are wearing on their lips, you know? The first thing that I use is NYX Lip Liner because I'm obsessed with these. And this is just in the color brown. So I all the way lined my lips with this one. And then I went in and filled my lips with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. So that's what's on my lips today. It was a little bit patchy going on. So... That was kind of annoying. But so that is everything from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys are able to still get your hands on some of the collection from Wet n Wild because I really enjoy it. And obviously for the holidays. Shimmer. Yes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.